valve adjustment, or at least make an attempt to, on our four-cylinder Cummins. Uh, something I probably should have done when I had it out. So a little more of a difficulty on the last cylinder. So I'm going to move this more forward. Because I have a little bit of a lift on it, so it's harder to work on. Behold, the four cylinder Cummins. Now I'll show you the issue that we are having. This valve cover here, uh, he comes up just enough to where you can't get it out of here. So this little bump right in here is right in the way. All right, I was successful at removing this rear valve cover. Um, it just takes a you know a fresh mind um, to get it out. So the way, uh, so this is an '82. F-150 here, that we have it in there. Now we're using the uh, common mounting setup that you would normally see. Um, so it, the engine's back just a little bit further. Actually, I think it's it's positioned right like the V8 would be, but the uh, engine at the top is, you know, gonna be a lot different, so. It's also taller in some respect, so the valve cover is gonna be tight getting out of there. Um, what really gets in the way is this injector line for this cylinder in the back here. So um, I don't think it didn't bend it, it maybe flexed it a tiny bit. But the way I got it out was uh, just a little, you're gonna need a little bit of force. You can see you're gonna chip that in. And that's where the line was rubbing. So he kinda goes in at an angle. It's gonna take some persuasion to get him in there. But you can get him in. Not too bad. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do next is uh, we'll go ahead and get a ratcheting ratchet. I believe it's a 11 millimeter. And do these stainless steel clamps, and then we can get this tube out of here. We'll take some paper and put it down the hole so we don't get dirt in there. And uh, we'll also need a a breaker bar, and I think it's a 16 millimeter. Um, I'll find out the correct size here in a second. I will turn the engine over uh, per cylinder. You want to release the tension on all the rocker arms. Let's get this guy off here. It is an 11 millimeter. Uh, let's go the other way. Again, I'm doing this with a cold engine. Um, I can't recall if uh, heat is a factor in this. I know timing doesn't really matter. Um, at least for the gas engines, but uh, I'm just gonna do it with a cold engine. <laughs> oh yeah, One very important thing. That'll, that'll keep us from running into any issues. Um, if you need to do new valve cover gaskets, now is the time. Because when you buy the valve cover gasket kit, you get new O-rings for your bolts. These gaskets are pretty new, so... I'm chipping my paint, oh well. But now is the time to do it while you get this out, because that rear valve cover is a bit of an inconvenience, but you can get it out. Don't lose those bolts. You will also be making a trip to Ace Hardware, just to find out you probably can't get them. Well, I can guarantee you we've got oil pressure. You know the... I didn't really clean these, and I've been noticing that it's... You're kind of cleaning up inside a little bit. 
I need a good place to put these. I don't really have one. Well, I'm going to kind of lay them out in the truck. I'll wipe them down here in a bit. Let's see. I think this is... That's the intake, and I believe this one here, closest to the exhaust manifold, would seem obvious to me as being the exhaust, and I can... I can tell there's quite a bit of... Well, that could be normal, but to me it seems a little excessive. Um, one thing to make sure of... Uh, you have a manual transmission like I have, make sure that it's out of gear or else you're going to be having a hard time moving that. And that is in neutral. So, here we go. We got all the valve covers out. That's good. Intake is 10, ten thousandths of an inch or yeah, whatever. So, Exhaust is uh, 20. That's exactly what I thought. And I'm pretty certain our exhaust, this guy here, I mean, why would that be? No, yeah, this is intake because it's closest to the injector. So, hmm, I don't think this is going to work. No, I wonder if I can put a nut on here and that would actually turn it over because it's a small pulley. It's going to turn a big Holy, we might get lucky there. I, I don't. I, this engine is a monster, so I don't think we're going to be able to do that. No. Yeah, this is definitely brand new. Okay. So I think this exhaust valve might actually be starting to go onto a stroke. So I'm going to have to just keep moving the engine around to uh, relieve the tension on it. But this one here, I can. That thing will go all in there and come back out with absolutely no drag. It's like a hot dog down a hallway. So, there is a tool that I should be using for this. I do not have it. But, what I can do improvise Have to make sure we get these really snug jeez Okay, so I've done all the ex intake valves. Um, two were all right. Um, they're a nice little snug on this one. Not, you know, terrible. Not, you don't have to be fo too forceful with it. It just goes in. So, um, the uh, last two, eh, two front ones, way too tight. I just backed them out just a tiny bit, kind of fiddled with it, and I was using uh, this guy to kind of get it to where you can tighten it and then hold the screw down, keep you from turning any farther than you want, and then I used the thing to crank them and then check the, check the, uh, the stuff, and everything's all good. So now, I'm going to find my 20, I'm done with the, uh, Intake now. I'm actually decided just to do one set first, that way I only have one thing out.
Okay, now it's reasonable. I gotta wipe all these gaskets up, make them look like new. Oh, we missed a spot. We're not. You're not gonna get hired on now. No. Oh, I just popped my hip. That's great. Ah. I started it really quick. Sounds a little better. Go for around with the power screen a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go take it for a test drive. It sounds a lot better. I think.